Welcome back everyone. With the opening of free agency only 10 days away, the trade rumors are beginning to heat up, and to absolutely no surprise, they once again involve the Lakers. Although, this time they might actually hold some truth, and believe it or not, this rumor involves Kyrie Irving potentially ending up in LA. According to The Athletic, the conversation regarding Kyrie Irving's future has gone stagnant between himself and the Brooklyn Nets, which could clear the way for him to enter the open market. In addition to that, the reported teams who have interest in him are the LA Lakers, the LA Clippers of course, and then the New York Knicks, and while both LA teams would have to complete a sign-in trade to acquire him, that does appear to be on the table. There have been rumors for over a month now hinting that Irving might be leaving Brooklyn, but this report, along with Kyrie himself adding fuel to the fire by posting a mysterious gif, could really be the nail in the coffin for his time in Brooklyn. Now, we do need to realize that Kyrie is trying to gain leverage over them here, as he would probably prefer to get a long-term contract to remain in Brooklyn, but he obviously would not be afraid to leave them either. And for at least right now, it does not appear that Brooklyn is willing to give him a long-term deal either, which you cannot entirely blame them for. We all know that Kyrie Irving is an all-NBA kind of talent when he is on the court, but the problem is trying to keep him there. And the Brooklyn Nets know that better than anyone. It would be hard to blame them if they've simply had enough of it and are not willing to commit to him long term. With all of that being said though, the Lakers, the Knicks, and even the Clippers would very likely be willing to take that risk, and Kyrie Irving is fully aware of that. Now, I can't speak on which team he would prefer to go to between the three, but there is good reason to believe that the Lakers would be that option. For one, we all know what LeBron and Kyrie can accomplish together, and while they did have a fallout at the end of their time together in Cleveland, it does appear that they've made up. In addition to that, Kyrie Irving has been very open about his respect and appreciation for Kobe Bryant, a guy he not only admired, but someone he learned from as well. I find it very hard to believe that an opportunity to carry on his Laker legacy would not be intriguing to him, and honestly, might even be more important to him than reuniting with LeBron. However, all of this would come down to not only Kyrie Irving demanding a trade to the Lakers, but also with the Lakers being willing to give him a long-term contract and giving up the assets to acquire him. And as we know, they have been very hesitant to trade any future first round draft picks, but in order to acquire Kyrie Irving, even with it being through a sign and trade, they very likely would have to give up one. With many of you probably questioning what that trade might look like though, or why the Nets would even agree to it, we will be going through three different trade options that could potentially bring Kyrie Irving to the Lakers. And to begin, the basic one would be a simple two-team trade between Brooklyn and LA, which to be completely honest, might be the most unlikely one between the three. Anyways though, in order for this trade to even work financially, the Lakers would have to include Westbrook, and then the Nets would have to include Kyrie Irving, along with either Joe Harris or Patty Mills. Along with that, the Lakers would definitely have to include a first round pick here, and then Taylor Horton Tucker as well if the Nets included Joe Harris rather than Patty Mills. In my opinion, a trade between only the Nets and Lakers is not very likely to happen. I highly doubt that Kevin Durant would want to play with Westbrook again, and other than a future first round draft pick, the Lakers simply don't have anything that Brooklyn would want. Even though a trade typically becomes more unrealistic with more teams being involved, I actually think this one would become more likely to happen with a third or fourth team helping them out. Although, it cannot be with just any random third or fourth team, it has to be one who is willing to take on the contract of Westbrook, and one who might even want him for the sake of playing him. Now, there are definitely not very many of those, but if prior reports can be believed, one of them could very well be the Charlotte Hornets, who just so happen to have a player that the Nets probably want as well. I mentioned a three-team trade with Charlotte during my last Kyrie Irving video, and I still believe that it's probably the most likely one available. And here we have Westbrook in a first round pick going to Charlotte, 
Terry Rozier and Kelly Oubre going to Brooklyn, and then Kyrie Irving and Mason Plumlee going to LA. This trade would theoretically benefit each team. The Lakers would of course be getting Kyrie Irving, the Nets would avoid losing Kyrie for nothing, and might even prefer this trade over keeping him anyways, and then Charlotte would be getting more long-term cap room to retain Miles Bridges. And although they would have to take on one year of Westbrook, that might be something they are interested in doing anyways. They are desperate to get back into the playoffs, and Westbrook might be able to help them do that. In addition to that, they are getting a valuable draft pick in return as well, which they could either keep, or then use to trade for a better fitting player to put around their young core. Although, they might not be willing to get involved here unless they could get rid of Gordon Hayward while doing it, which would actually be a possibility. The trade could be altered to include Hayward rather than Plumlee, Wenyan Gabriel being dealt to Brooklyn, and then THT and Stanley Johnson being dealt to Charlotte, and no first round picks being included. I'm not sure the Lakers would want to give up THT here, but it would save them a draft pick. Along with that though, it would require Kyrie Irving to opt into his player option. But now moving on to trade number 3. And here we have more of a salary dump deal, which would involve Westbrook in a first round pick being dealt to Detroit, Jeremy Grant and Kelly Olynyk going to Brooklyn, and then Kyrie Irving once again going to LA. Following the trade that the Thunder made for Jermichael Green, the Detroit Pistons have now become the team with the most available cap room. And with them still being in the beginning of their rebuild, they probably would not mind taking on a bad contract if it meant getting a future first round draft pick. Now they are demanding a pretty large return for Jeremy Grant, which might cause the Lakers to include THT here as well, but I think this would be a good starting point. And even if they would demand THT, I'm not sure the Lakers would mind here, as including him would give them enough cap room to outright sign and trade for Kyrie Irving, or would free up both their full mid-level and biannual exception if Kyrie would opt into his player option. It might be tough to part with one of their few remaining young players, but then again, they would be getting Kyrie Irving in return here, and would immediately become contenders again. I don't see many teams being willing to help them either. Other than Charlotte or Detroit, there are not many teams who would either want Westbrook, or have the cap room to take on his contract, and then also have a player that Brooklyn would want in return as well. Along with that, if Kyrie Irving is only willing to come to LA through a sign and trade, then Detroit is one of the few teams that could actually help them with that. There are not many teams with available cap room, and that really limits their trade options here. Now that would change if Kyrie opted into his player option and then committed to sign a long term deal later on, but again, that might not be something he is willing to do. With all of that being said though, that will conclude my thoughts on the Kyrie Irving trade rumors, and then with 3 trades that could allow him to become a Laker. And what do you guys think? What team do you think Kyrie Irving will end up on? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.